kao deca verujemo u magiju, ali kako odrastamo i sazrevamo, ta sposobnost se polako gubi. U današnjem svetu važno je održati to dete u sebi, pa za sve koji dalje veruju u čarolije, grupa koju čine pet izuzetnih svetskih mađioničara će održati spektakl za pamćenje u Beogradu. Uh, we are here in Belgrade, Serbia from September 27th this Friday to the 29th this Sunday. And uh, we're very excited, can't wait to see you guys here. We're at the Sava Center, so uh, yeah, grab your tickets before they disappear. When did you first started uh, being interested in magic and illusions? When did that passion started for you? Started as a as a young kid. I think a lot of little kids sort of have a uh, interest in magic. Most kids grow out of it, and uh, I was just one that never did. I just loved it. Became obsessed with it. Kept learning. Kept performing. And uh, now here I am. I guess maybe eight or nine years old. Uh, I was kind of obsessed with the circus. So for me, it started with juggling and that kind of thing. My mum tells me I, I didn't want to go home after she took me, so that was kind of my introduction into performance. And I just put a magic trick in my little act that I put together for my school show, and that got such a good response, that it kind of led me down that route, I think. Is there any like uh, specific recipe how to be the best at your job? I don't think there's any specific recipe, but uh, I think the most interesting part for me is just seeing the reactions on the people's faces. Um, you know, it's rare in today's day and age that you see something that you can't explain or that you can't Google and find the answer to right away. So our job is to sort of, you know, add that wonder back into uh, everyday life and, and show people something that's impossible that they can't explain. And the, the reward personally that we get from doing that is, is great. Passion, commitment, it's, it's a lot of practice, you know, you have to go for a long period before you ever put something on stage where you're rehearsing, um, learning a lot of different skills, audience management, you know, lighting, uh, blocking theatre, dance even. Um, so there's many different facets and that's what's great and keeps magic interesting, I think. Who were your influences when you started? Is there any famous magician that you were influenced by? I looked up to all of them when I was a kid. I think a lot of us, we would sit there and watch old VHS tapes, rewind them over and over and over, study the uh, the greats. So uh, hard to name one in particular because I think, you know, as magicians starting out young, you, you just have this fascination and you watch all of them. So I think uh, I've drawn sort of inspiration or motivation from different parts of different performers. And uh, yeah, there's there's a lot of a lot of amazing ones in the world, but it is also a very small, tight knit community. So it's uh, it's been amazing getting to know them, getting to work with them as well in this show. It's just been overall a wonderful experience. I used to watch a guy called David Blaine. Uh, he was kind of pioneering the street magic scene at the time, making magic cool again, I suppose, in mainstream. Um, and David Copperfield's kind of my hero. Like uh, for me, you know, even now he's he's still top of his game and. and creatively and talent-wise, he's the best. That's the thing, I mean, it's it's very rare that you get to perform in a show with other magicians and illusionists. Uh, you know, we all have our own shows individually, so to perform in a show like this with, with four other uh, world-class magicians, it's, uh, it creates a very, very cool dynamic. There's some perks and benefits of being in a group. I, I, I imagine it's almost like being in a band. Everybody yeah. has a different talent, everybody has a unique set of skills. Yeah. Is there also like a friendly competition? Is there like a rivalry a bit? Or is there just like a friendly uh, joking around and like that? I think it's more, more friendly joking around where we all get to share a part of the show. Uh, we have equal responsibility within the show so the whole show doesn't fall on any one person's shoulders in particular it's we're all sort of sharing that um, that responsibility and it's uh, yeah it's, it's a lot of jokes it's good laughs it's good fun it's also um, you know an inspiring environment to be in because you see how other people work which is is rare and uh, just drives you to be better what can the audience here in Belgrade expect to see what can you uh tell us uh, I, I guess you want to keep it as a secret probably because that's part of the job but uh, what can you tell us like what can they expect here to see yeah without giving away anything in particular there's uh, there's a lot of surprises uh, there's a lot of impossible feats that you see there's some dangerous stunts there's audience interaction where the audience becomes part of the show um, you know some of the audience comes up on stage we do magic out in the audience we do magic together as a group but uh, in terms of the specifics, you'll have to come buy tickets and check out the show. You know, what's great about this show is it appeals to people from five years old to 95 years old. You know, it's a great show for all the family. Um, you've got a different thing for everybody, really. There's comedy, there's audience interaction, uh, there's, there's stuff for the kids, there's stuff for the adults. So whatever you're into, you're probably going to find something in the show that you enjoy. Da bi u magiju poverovali, moramo ideje vidimo. Tako da sada će nam James pokazati jedan trik, pa da vidimo o čemu se radi. Great. Hi, Milan.
How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm doing very well. So I'd like to try something that would only work today, something to sort of celebrate today. And the way we're going to do this is I'm going to ask everyone, including you, to take out your uh, your mobile phone or your cell phone. Obviously, yeah, you need it. a smartphone. Um, so if you've got those, go ahead and take them out now. And when you've done that, if you can go to your calculator app and clear those calculators, okay, just the one it's going to be important. Okay, so calculator is clear. Yeah, great. And I'm just going to ask you a few basic questions, right? So the first one will be, what time did you wake up this morning? 6 a.m. 6 a.m. So I'd like everyone to follow what we're about to do, right? 6 0 0, like this. So go ahead, show the camera. 6 0 0. And we're going to add to this number, Milan. So go ahead, push the add key, like this. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Next question What year were you born? Uh, 1992. Oh, still young and beautiful. So everyone Thank follow. <laughs> 1992. 1992. Go ahead, pop that into your calculator. And then again, push the add key, okay. like this. Yeah, now if you've got an iPhone like us, you should get a running total. If you've got an Android, probably not, but the trick will still work, so don't worry. We'll keep going, right? Sure. Next number, uh, what time do you think you'll go to bed tonight? tonight. Roughly. Maybe like uh, midnight. Midnight, so let's, let's go ahead and type that in. 12, yeah. 12 o'clock, okay. like this. Yeah. Zero, zero, yeah. Uh, 12, yeah. Zero, zero. Yep. Good, show the camera. Perfect. And yeah, okay, so let's go ahead and push equals so we can check on our Android users. Yeah, so we've both got the same number here. That's what everyone should have, right? Sure. And uh, finally, we're going to add the element of chance, right? And we're going to do this by you choosing a random number. We're going to add to this. So uh, if you could push the add key. Yep. And now could you hold a finger up? I know you're a bit, I'll tell you a bit like you. Okay, thank you. So just go ahead and push. Uh, about five or six digits. Go ahead. Just, like just without looking. Yeah, keep going. Anywhere on the screen. Perfect. Keep sure. going. That's but, 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 yeah, perfect. Okay. And we should have this random number here. I'll pass you that back. Okay. Everyone can add this number. So it is 248. So like yep. 248756. Four, That's okay. it. And go ahead, push equals. Equals. That's it. That's the number we should all have. Right? Yeah. Now this was completely random, there's no way we could have yeah. known what this was going to be. But look, it had to be today, because what's the date today? It is the 24th of the ninth month, the 24th of September. And Milan, take a look at the time right now. It is exactly 12.48. 12.48, that's true, yeah.